And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Taking a look at the Rockets. Outside, the wings are green and Tate. Marquise Chris is out there with Smith. And it's Berg in at the point guard position. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, and you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. Pass to Toppin. On the wing, Porter. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got five rebounds tonight. Outside, Green. Pass to Chris. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. They had a defender all over. He got it good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for important. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. Burke hits them both. Trailblazers leading by 18. One minute now into this fourth quarter. And here is Simon. Simon's with a screen on Tate. Reddish kicks to Simons. Cranes it from beyond the arc. And the Trailblazers lead by 21. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Dishes at the top of Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Here's Porter. And again, it's Portland converted. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Here's Burke. Another miss by Houston. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Porter passes to Simons. Back to Porter. Over Chris. Porter, no luck. And it's Burke with the ball for Houston. He kicks to Green. Takes the three. And he's good on the three ball. Green's got 22. Well, we're seeing validation as to why Green went second overall in the draft. He's got a unique ability to score the ball. Simons, the pass to Reddish. Outside, Porter. To the wing right side. Toppin finds Porter. Tries it from 19. To the left wing. Reddish, the pass to Porter. Tries again. Now Grant, covered by Smith. Now here's Burke to the wing on the left. A three ball. Some solid defense from Grant. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Down low. Simon's on the wing. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Smith dishes to Burke. Chris in the post. Covered by Simon. Out to Smith. Fires for three. And it's Marquise Chris with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Aaron Gordon. He's checked in for the Rockets. Trailblazers leading by 20. 
Now Simons. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines and the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? Oh, Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, yeah, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. <laughs> Get ourselves fired up. You game? Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> Simons against Gordon. Out to Smith. On the wing, Green. There's a screen by Chris. Misses the three. Trailblazers leading by 22. To the right side. Here's Sharp. Here's Bull. Lays it up and banks it in towering presence that is ball good at staying active and going after those offensive rebounds green with the ball and with the play-in tournament single game elimination comes to the nba clark it brings tremendous ratings in the college game and it's good to see it i think here in the pros I agree with you 100% Kevin absolutely I mean the midseason tournament might also have that same kind of appeal I think those high stakes really make for compelling dramatic view it's stolen by Smith kicks to Gordon back to Smith doesn't get it to drop for him now the trailblazers take it the other way pass to sharp the pass to bowl over Chris and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line with options like the G League Ignite team fewer players Clark feel they have to go to college would you have been tempted by those options I don't think I would have been personally Kevin but I do like the fact that there are other pathways to the NBA college is not for everybody I think it's one of the surest ways to develop as a person and your game but it's not for everybody, so I like the fact that there are other pathways to get to the NBA. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Garuba's checked in, and David Nwaba is subbed in for Trey Burke. Green. And like his father, Manu, Bowles' combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. Portland moving the ball around. Here's Bull. Kicks it out to Grant. Pass to Sharp. Six on the shot clock. Offline with his three. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Shot by Gordon. Wide open. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. This is a two, a one do. Now bowl. Thirteen feet away. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Smith's got seven rebounds in the game. Ashton Waba. Offensive rebound. The pass to Garuba. Green kicks to Gordon. And another shot. Pass to Garuba. Green with the ball. Puts up a three. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Simons. Passes to Bull. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. Shen Goon's checked in for the Rockets. Trey Burke comes in for David Nwapa. Portland leading by 19 points. A nice shot by Simons. 
And the man has no heart. And, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Greg, you read about Jimmy Butler starting his own coffee company, and he did that in the NBA bubble, and he drinks, he said, about, about five cups of coffee a day. Do a lot of NBA players drink coffee to keep them going and get that extra burst? Absolutely. Yeah, I remember drinking coffee on the bench late in my career. Uh, it, it's kind of a comfort food, warms you up a little bit. And all good things that can get you ready for action, I'm for. And you know, when Gordon is healthy, he's extremely effective. I mean, he's a high motor player who strokes it well from deep, actually, strokes it well from everywhere. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Porter's checked in. Chris, he's checked in for Houston. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Trailblazers. Grant outside. And here's Sharp. Over to the wing. There's Porter with the three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Gordon's got four rebounds now tonight. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. And forget about finesse. This big fella's all about the power. Outside, Porter. Pass to a one-do. Back to Porter. It's stolen by Green. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Outside, Porter. Out of bounds. Trailblazers ball as Portland keeps possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Off the inbound pass. You know, excellent quickness by Gordon. And you got to respect that, especially on defense, where he's able to hound the offensive player. Oh, that's blocked. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. It's stolen. Outside, Porter. Out left of the wing. Grant the pass to Porter. And the rejection by Smith. A relentless defender, Smith, proving how disruptive he can be on that end. And the basket by Gordon. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Now, here's Burke. Out to Chris. Teardrop shot. Portland grabs the miss. Here's Sharp. Count that one. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. They kick it out to Green. A three. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Portland. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most 
of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And you could tell they were ready for this one today, guys. There was something extra on the line, and they wanted it. I know exactly what you're referring to. I mean, with this victory, they'll get the edge in the season series by taking two of their three meetings. And Porter, here we go. Short. That's good. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. To stop the run. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. When you're guarding Gordon, you've got to be careful. He excels at drawing fouls and playing through contact. Eric Gordon taking two shots. First one falls for him. Both teams will make substitutions. That one falls, so he hits both of them. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Over to the left wing. A one do kicks to Fournier. There's the pick. The pass to Sharp. Just five on the clock. <laughs> Kept alive. It's Fournier on the wing. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. They poured it out and a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. That's difficult to answer.